Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thumbcraft Quick. In this episode, we're going to look into making the Boots of the Traveler. So the Boots of the Traveler are some really cool boots that let you jump higher. They give you step assist to walk over one tall high blocks. Uh, you can, uh, I think it negates some fall damage. It lets you walk across water a little bit faster. And it lets you increase your movement speed. So to do this, we need to know about modus. And we have to walk a lot, run a lot, swim a lot and jump a lot. Uh, I don't really know what a lot means. I know I spent about two, three minutes just jumping and and swimming for a while. I know there's, you can go on the stats page to Minecraft and look at how much you've run and swam and stuff. I think it's a, a kilometer for each of those and maybe 500 jumps or something like that. So, you know, just keep going. Now, there's no indicator while you're doing this that you finished it. So you just have to keep checking back in the book to get the check mark. But it will happen eventually. But what we do need is a theory in arcane infusion. So uh, let's go over here to research table. I placed another runic matrix over here because that will help us foc that will help focus us towards arcane infusion uh, theories. All right, there we go. So let's see here. Okay, so we can either do infusion or alchemy. I guess I want to do infusion, obviously, because I want the theory in that. So we're going to need to get a file of Fabrico and a gold ingot. Well, Fabrico comes from crafting tables. So let's see if we can get a crafting table. All right, I've got some crafting tables. I am prepared. It's got Herba and Fabrico. I've already got a jar for Herba, so we'll have some for Fabrico now. So I'll dump my crafting tables in here. And it will take a bit longer to break down because there are so many aspects on this. There's 20 Fabrico in one. Let's see here. So there's some Fabrico. We'll go ahead and dump that in there, label it, and open up our system. We need to get one file of Fabrico, so we can just leave that running and go back. All right, so we are going to infuse Fabrico in gold. There we go. Let's see, we can channel Mortus Essentia, or we can get infusion with Measure. Well, I don't have any Mortus, so let's just go ahead and use the Measure. We can do Measure again, or we can do Alchemy, or we have to get Humanus. Well, I don't have any Humanus either, so let's do Measure again. All right, let's see. A Feather and some Spiritus. Eh. Let's see if we can get some more measures or something. I guess we'll do a spiritual focus. Huh. Don't want to reject that. Guess we'll have to do some rethinking. This is not going so well. All right, let's rethink again. Ah, here we go. Inspired. That'll work. Spiritual focus. That sounds good. Let's see. We'd get 25 alchemy for a vacuous and a vinculum crystal. Do we have those things? All right. There we go. Let's go ahead and get that. All right, we don't want to reject this, so we're going to have to get some Permutatio Essentia. All right, grab the file of Permutatio, and let's go back to our table. There we go, 25 more infusion. We can either reject Oromancy, or we can rethink. Yeah, let's rethink. I can do Ponder. Or if I had some Alchemia, which I think we do have. Yes, here's some Alchemia. We can use that. So let's go use Alchemia to... There we go. All right. Ooh, I don't want to do Universal Theory. I've got to get 10 Vacuos then. I don't think I have any Vacuos. Maybe I do. Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. Just enough to... Okay, 25 more infusion, and there we go, a theory in arcane infusion. So it does, you know, take some time to get some of these things, but, uh, you know, eventually you do. 
So in your Thaumonomicon, now we'll go back to Boots of Travel. We've got our theory, so let's hit complete. There we go. So again, we can move faster, jump higher, and fall further. Um, boots of the Traveler, notice it's got a V charge. We do have to charge the boots, so we'll finally have something to use with our recharge pedestal. So let's go see about making that. How do we make the Boots of the Traveler? It's an infusion recipe. We have to infuse leather boots with 100 modus, 100 velatus, two enchanted fabrics, two air crystals, any kind of fish, and a feather. So let's go get the ingredients real quick. The worst part of this is the fishing. The fishing, in my opinion, is so boring. All right, so you just kind of put things around the altar. I'm pretty sure it does not matter where they go as long as they're all here. So I'm not even going to look in the recipe. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so we placed all of our items down. Our boots go in the center. That's our infusion item. We've got our two air crystals, our fish, our feather, and our two enchanted fabrics. But we also need that Essentia. And this is where this comes in. We need to get our Modus and our Volatus. I don't know how far it can be from the infusion altar, but I'm thinking that's too far. Probably like 16 blocks. That seems like a reasonable thing. So we'll just put this on the wall over here for now and we'll grab our caster's gauntlet and when we right click our caster's gauntlet it will start drawing in our essentia and we will use that to infuse our boots now if you note in the book it does say instability so this one's negligible so I'm not worried about it at all as the instability grows higher there is a greater chance of items being knocked off pedestals, or destroyed, or consumed, and you have to add them. Huh. I should study infusion instability further. So, you know, it got a little bit less stable than I thought it would, but uh, that's okay. It also unlocks things in our Thaumonomicon. So, you do have to have one of these processes go like this, and the longer it goes, the more stable it gets, but even though it says dangerously unstable, I don't think that's true. I'm not sure if it's a tooltip malfunction or it's just, um, I don't know, just, you know, not really clear. But this one is not going to be dangerously unstable. So go ahead and grab the boots and we'll go ahead and scan those. Can you put them in a bobble slot? Let's find out. I didn't think so. Okay, so we'll replace our boots, and now we should have, oh no, they're not charged, I forgot, okay. You didn't have to charge them back in Thomcraft 4 days, so. So, right click our boots on here, and it's going to gain something. V, it's, it looks like Potentia symbol, but I'm not sure it's Potentia. Let's see, 105. We're definitely draining this chunk. And we have got a uh, flux research completed. I'm not sure how much it can hold. Maybe 250? Maybe 240. There's more V in the chunk. It's not getting any more, so I guess 240 is what it can hold. So there we go. There we go. Now I'm a lot faster. And I can jump up and down. And I can jump higher. And I can fall with, you know, not no damage, but less damage. I can jump up to my furnace. So those are the Boots of the Traveler. They are pretty awesome. I've always loved Boots of the Traveler. Um, if only they were a bobble. Oh well. That takes care of Boots of the Traveler. Thanks for watching. See you next time.